Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news courtesy for Friday, March 31st, 2017. Welcome back to the end of the week, and just a reminder to everyone, I'm taking a personal day on Wednesday, April 5th. There won't be any episode that day. But today we're beginning with a free trial weekend for Titanfall 2 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Remember, it's not available on Steam, you'll have to go through Origin, and you'll have until Monday to play. Next, we have a delay of Outcast Second Contact, which was promised to be out sometime this month, and you may have noticed that tomorrow is the 1st of April. No fooling. It now has the release window of sometime later this fall. Moving on to release announcements, Creative Assembly has announced Total Warhammer 2, and it's set to debut on PC later this year, but no exact release information was given. Coming to Xbox One is the rightful successor to the SimCity franchise, City Skylines, and it will hit the platform on April 21st for $39.99 US dollars or your regional equivalent. Beginning with update news, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been updated to version 1.1.1 for both the Wii U and Switch, which promises to improve frame rates in problematic areas. I cannot wait to try this out for myself because that was one of my complaints about the game. Final Fantasy 15 has been updated to 1.08, which is a half a gigabyte in size, and it fixes the issue of using an alternate spell on a specific summon. After yesterday's story about the For Honor boycott that is happening on Monday, Ubisoft has released a patch that will dole out more steel, or in-game currency, to players. All matches will award 25% more steel, daily orders award 33% more, and side orders award 50% more, with community orders rising from 500 to 1000 to a flat rate of 2,000 steel. If you're participating in the For Honor boycott, please let me know in the comment section down below, and please know that you have my support. Coming to Rocket League next week, Tuesday, April 4th, is DLC themed to the new movie, The Fate and the Furious, which is the eighth movie in the Fast and the Furious franchise. They're still making these movies? The first one came out when I was still in high school. Holy shit! Anyway, you can pick up the custom Dodge Charger for $2 or your regional equivalent. Warner Brothers revealed that Scarecrow and Captain Cold will be part of the roster for Injustice 2. Along with this new trailer that's out showing off their moves, which you can find a link to in the description down below, along with links for sources for all of today's stories. CD Projekt Red has made some statements during its 2016 Financial Results Conference, talking about how development for Cyberpunk 2077 is going very well, but they aren't anywhere near its release. Hopefully we see it in 2018, but it's definitely not going to be here this year. CDPR even talked about the possibility of making another Witcher game, and it seems like they're open to the idea. I thoroughly enjoyed The Witcher 3, and I would love to see a game that starts series. Geralt's protege. Now this one sounds like it would only happen when pigs fly, but Konami, of all people, are offering free DLC for Bomberman R for Nintendo Switch. They said more info was coming in the next few days, so people had time to recover from questioning reality. Bungie says they will continue to support Destiny even after the launch of Destiny 2 later this year on September 8th. Destiny 1 will be ending, so by this I would assume they mean that they will be keeping the servers online so people can go back and enjoy the original. Sorry to be a bummer though, but every game does go offline eventually as new games come out and people lose interest. It's just the natural progression of things. This next one was honestly a surprise to me. Last night news broke that Palmer Lucky is leaving both Oculus and Facebook. It's not exactly clear why he's leaving either but I guess it could have to do with him funding a pro-Republican organization, as well as his recent loss to Zenimax, which cost Oculus and Facebook $500 million. And finally for the week, I wish I could bring you some good news, but unfortunately, the company Mad Cats has filed for bankruptcy and completely shut down. If you're not familiar with them, Mad Cats are the makers of Rock Band 4, the controllers for Rock Band, as well as generic peripherals for console, like controllers and memory cards. Now specifically, Mad Cats has filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which means that the company is not coming back in any way, shape, or form. They're not reorganizing, everything is being dissolved, and all assets are to be sold off. For as long as I can remember, Mad Cats have been creating off-brand affordable accessories for back when I was a console gamer, and I even bought one of my flight sticks from Saytech last year when they were owned by Mad Cats, but unfortunately the company was sold off to Logitech late last year. The reason why I'm throwing this in there is to show that this has been happening for a while now, Mad Cats has been struggling for quite some time and was relying on Rock Band 4 to save the company. Obviously, that didn't work. Goodbye, Mad Cats. I'm sorry to see you go. I'll always remember you as the guys who were selling cheaper N64 memory cards so I could save my progress for Space Station Silicon Valley, and your products always work just fine. By the way, if I could give some advice to the parents out there... If you buy your kid a new video game console, make sure you get a memory card with it too, otherwise you're going to end up at Radio Shack the day after Christmas, and the kids are going to complain about it all Christmas Day. Anyone out there got any Mad Cats products and want to share any stories about them, please leave them in the comment section down below. Once again, it's time for Monday's game releases, because I'm off for the next two days, because... 
I've got to figure out how a DSLR camera works so I can make this show look better. For PC, Roots of Insanity, Fort Awesome. I just want to say, that's a fort building game? A VR fort building game? You can build forts? I'm sold. Glork's Great Escape, Walking is for Chumps, Domina, Armor Clash 2, 1166, What's Under Your Blanket 2, 944 West 24th, Spaceship Looter, Evolution Pinball VR, The Summoning, and Aquila Bird Flight Simulator. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you on Monday. I was almost going to say tomorrow. And what's the internal temperature of a Tauntaun? Lukewarm. Yeah, there was no way I was going to do a whole other take because I said tomorrow instead of Monday. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Sorry. I like to be a perfectionist on this show, but then there's like... Do three or four takes and then mess up because I said tomorrow instead of Monday. So screw it. I'm running with that take. Yay. Behind the scenes stuff. Dandruff's not the best actor or editor or anything. But I try to make a good show. So, um, yes, we should have the new camera up and running by Monday. If that doesn't happen, I'm sorry. I just got to try to make sure. Just I, just, I gotta try to make it work. That's all I really gotta do is just gotta try to make it work. Hopefully I can get rid of this glare. You see this glare here? It's glare, because if I move the wall forward like that, it gets rid of the glare. So it's it's obviously glare from the, the plastic. I don't know if the other camera actually may take care of that or not. It may, it may not. I don't know. We'll have to see. I've got to do a bunch of tests over the weekend. And I've also got a bunch of crap to do, because I'm planning a... Planning an April Fool stream for tomorrow, so yay! Uh, just let everybody know. Last year for April Fools, I did an entire an entire episode of of spoof news, like you know a bunch of stuff that came out that like didn't exist. You know a bunch of news. You know Sony developed their own form of killer robot. Microsoft developed their own form of killer robot, but it is not as powerful. That didn't go over too well. It did not. It did not go over well. I think I've learned my um my lesson and if i if we do end up on an april fool's day i'm going to cover the april fool's spoofs i'm not going to cover i'm not going to just make shit up again people come here to my show for information and if i'm not providing them information if i'm just making crap up i mean i mean anybody can make crap up anybody can deliver news but if you're coming to me for facts then coming to me you know a lot of people are going to come to me for like crazy goofy humor I don't know if I'm the best at it either. I'm pretty good at keeping facts straight, though, so, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll cover all the goofs. Uh, the only one that I've seen so far... Actually, I've seen two so far. NVIDIA came up with this, like, AI USB. You plug it into your computer, and it plays games for you while you go to the bathroom or answer the door. Ha ha. Ha ha. But the other one that was actually better was uh, Linus Tech Tips. Their server room is on fire. Oh no! Their server room caught on fire! Everybody go check out that video. Linus Tech Tips, everybody. I'm not going to leave their link in the description down below. Thank it! Enough advertising. They don't need my help. So, um... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go play For Honor over the weekend. I'm going to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I really want to play it since the new update has happened because... Yeah, you know me and frame rates. Oh, jeez. If that game doesn't... If that game keeps dipping down to 20 as much as it was, then I... I, I I'll still play it, but I it's not going to gain back any points from me. Um, still sitting at about a 9 now because of all the cool shit that I've noticed that you can do. I think it's a 9. Give it a solid 9. It takes me a while to review a game, or at least to get through a game, because I spend all of my time doing this show. And not that much playing video games. Speaking of playing games, I want to try to do that tonight, but it's not going to happen unless I get everything done really quickly. Because I've got to switch out the motherboard in my computer. Because it's I got a new one in, and I want to be at back up to 16 gigs of RAM. And working at my full everything, because I couldn't really stream Rainbow Six Siege while I had 12 gigs of RAM. It's not that I didn't have enough RAM, it's that whenever I would use more than 12 gigs of RAM, and it was supposed to like spill over into the... Um, into the page file or into whatever else the operating system is supposed to do. Operating system, Windows just goes, it's supposed to be there. Nope, freeze, blue screens, ah, crash, bye. And it's, I, I don't, I can't have that. So I want to go back. I want to have a full working machine again. Send out my broken motherboard, get a new one in, sell that board and be done with it. Yeah. 
Social media links are over here, everybody. I hope you all enjoy my wonderful show. I think you, I think it's pretty good. I think, um, let me know if I'm tooting my own horn by just saying I think my show is good. I do think my show is good. I like my show. I am proud of my show. Uh, maybe doing, oh, I'm going to be, uh, on Daily Dork's show on Sunday. I think I'm talking to him on Sunday. I don't know if I'm on the show that Sunday or from, uh, it's during the week. I forget exactly, but I'm doing something with Daily Dorks. I'll leave links to that whenever that happens. That will be wonderful. I will absolutely love that. We're going to be talking about me playing Zelda. I'm going to try to play For Honor and play a couple other games before I do that. So I've got some stuff to talk about. Social media links are over here. I didn't do the other stuffs yet, so I'm cool. End card, good still. I didn't ruin the end card. Social media links are over here. Click them down in the description down below. You can't click them over here because... Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube doesn't offer enough of the things in the, the, the end card. So click over here to the social media links. They're at the top of the description down below. Click over here to subscribe to my wonderful yet boastful channel where I, I don't know. And then click over here to watch yesterday's episode where we talk about the For Honor boycott, which is still going on. And I promise I will not play on Monday. Thank you, everybody. Bye. See you on Monday. Go play some games.